Hey, it's Heidi with Broadmeadow Farm, and today I am working on creating a raspberry patch for our new yard. But because I'm starting from scratch, I want to make sure that our budget stays pretty small. So I'm actually here over at my mom's and I'm going to be digging up a bunch of raspberries and I thought I'd bring you along so you can see exactly how easy it is that you can set up a brand new raspberry patch for just a little bit of hard work. So behind me here, this is my mom's raspberry patch. There's not a lot of new growth coming inside here but what you'll actually notice is over here in her vegetable plot that um, there's actually quite a few little suckers coming up and that's where I'm going to be starting digging raspberries for my new patch. So raspberries are really one that will sucker quite a bit. So right here we've got one here that started. We've got one right here as well and so I'm just going to start digging those ones up. So this here is the raspberry sucker that I've taken out of the garden. I have broke off the root down here, but it's going to be just fine to put into the garden. So raspberries have a spreading root system and you can see here where my hand is. This is the woody stem that sends kind of most of the energy. We've also got these little tiny roots here that give energy and then they shoot up all of the new growth here. And so what happens in your flower bed, and what this is why raspberries tend to have a patch that grows, they send out these little shoots under the ground, similar to quack grass, and that's how you get a really nice sprawling patch. So when you dig up a plant like this, or even one like this, as long as you've got some of that base root system in there, you're definitely going to get a strong raspberry plant. So looking at the different types, you've got this one with a really nice woody stem. You've got this one which has more of a taproot type stem and then the new growth. Then this one here also has a bit of a woody stem with some of those little, small little roots. So for me, it's really important to get probably a good 20 or 30 raspberry plants established this year into my patch. I know that I'm not going to get any raspberries from them this year because raspberries fruit on second year growth. And so this year what I'm doing is I'm establishing a good crop of raspberries that are new this year and then will produce next year. So a lot of things in the garden, it's a lot about future planning. Not necessarily what you're going to get this year, but definitely what you're going to get next year. So the more work I can put into the garden this year will ensure that I'm going to get a really good crop next year. <laughs> 